Welcome back. This is that time of the year when you have to get admissions into a top college. And if you are in Delhi, you're in big trouble because you better have close to 100% marks. That's right. The final cut of the first cutoff list came out today for the 2015 academic uh, session. And economics honors seems to be the top course. SRCC demanding a minimum of 98.25 in its first cutoff list. The BCom honors course is also a top draw requiring a minimum of 98% at the ladies Sriram college the cutoff for english honors again at lsr 98 percent even a ba honors course at kidori mal college requires a minimum of 98 percent what's certain is that many of us certainly wouldn't have gone into college with these cutoffs that's the reality that we've got to face so what do students do joining me now is uh, reverend valson thampu principal of st stephen's college and uh, zubin malotra career counselor joins us appreciate both of you joining us reverend thampu 98% for a course in economics? I mean, what are we coming to? Well, Rajdeep, uh, I understand that in certain courses it has got above 100. Uh, and when that happens, it, sh it should not be called cut-off. It should be properly called decapitation. <laughs> uh, now, I personally believe that this is completely avoidable this is artificial, this is contrived, and this is cruel. We can avoid it, but unfortunately, the will to avoid this is lacking, and that's our problem. Now, who's going to, who's going to summon that will? I mean, you're, you know, you're using strong words here. Who's going to summon the will? What is it that a student who even gets, let's say, 90% today can't get a course of his or her choice? Who's, who has to take those hard choices now? Well, right Colleges? Right. Rajdeep, it is, uh, it is the state's duty to provide adequate educational facility of some quality and standard to the youth of this country. Why is it that we are remaining where we were years ago in respect of providing facilities and opportunities for higher education? Mm -hmm. I can't believe that it is because we don't have resources. We have plenty of money. What we do not have is the will to use this money properly. You know, it, it, it's, that is part of the problem that we don't have the will to use the money properly. There's a larger systemic crisis. But from a student's point of view, what is the real solution here? Where, what does this hapless student who, as I said, even gets 90% today can't get a course of his or her choice? Absolutely. And it's, it's disheartening, it's cruel, um, and it's feeding into a system which is just driving kids from, you know, when they're eight and nine and ten into the arms of coaching centers and tuition classes what's the solution what's the solution? the solution is actually this is a supply problem this is i mean there are many contributory things to it uh, you know the university has made applications much easier they've gone online so of course students from all over the country can apply sitting in their rooms right so obviously the number of applicants has more than doubled over the last three years if you actually look at it at delhi university the boards in order to have objective marking systems have become very formulaic in the way that they and model answers are issued to teachers and students are pretty much mugging them up and reproducing them by rote now the syst the problem is that there isn't enough supply as dr thampu is talking about so it's a demand supply it problem. is a demand supply problem it's also a perception problem that where uh, you know and the media panders to this the headlines only come for delhi university you know the higher salaries at iits are the ones that only get highlighted there aren't enough other success stories that are being highlighted which to students and parents minds are saying hey if we don't get into du it's not the end of the world there are enough other good opportunities and let let me just put a sane um, word here especially for students who are actually get looking for admission this is just the bachelor's level your career isn't made or broken by what you do at the undergraduate level it's more of where and what you do at the postgraduate level and therefore you still do have another shot you know that that's those are sane words but there's this enormous peer pressure which is created and cutoffs only build that peer pressure. Give me an alternative system, uh, Reverend Thampu. What is your ideal alternative system to this cutoff system at the moment? Uh, Rajdeep, I don't believe that is only a supply problem. Mm -hmm. It is also a problem related to very, very different standards available within the same university. In Delhi University, for example, why is it that there is such a rush mm -hmm. to get admitted to certain colleges and why is it that certain colleges are almost avoided? We, are not, we have not succeeded in standardizing education. That's one issue. 
The other issue is that we have not been able to maintain a healthy work culture in our institutions. What's so, the alternative? I, I, I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking if you I were to give to me suggest, an alternative to the cut-off system. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will suggest. I will suggest. First of all, we have to increase the number of seats. Mm -hmm. If you keep the number of if you keep the number of seats uh, uh, stagnant, mm -hmm. and students come up with better performances in terms of marks year after year, mm -hmm. it is only natural that the cutoff goes up. It, it's simple common sense. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, I would make through your channel an appeal to the Chief Minister of Delhi mm -hmm. to ensure that there is at least one college per assembly segment. There are 70 assembly constituencies in Delhi. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we cannot have at least one college per constituency? Mm -hmm. The second thing I would certainly argue is that mm -hmm. Delhi University must deregulate admission. I think it has created a very, very confusing system. Online facility may look all right, mm -hmm. but this heavily centralized admission system is creating a lot of avoidable confusion. Okay. I also want to emphasize that mm -hmm. Delhi University is unviable in terms of its size. Mm -hmm. Ideally, no university should enroll more than 50,000 students. Mm -hmm. So we need to have many more universities in Delhi, many more colleges. And no college should have more than 1,000 students because quality of education depends on the size of the institution. Mm -hmm. this, this is where St. Stephen's College right. has resisted pressures year after year to keep the numbers small so that we can uh, ensure quality education. Okay. Now, I also want to say this. I yes. also want to say this with some degree of pain. Rather than other institutions being encouraged to emulate the model of St. Stephen's College, the attempt I see a foot everywhere is to try and bring St. Stephen's College down and down. We, I don't we, understand we, We'll debate that. The, we'll debate St. Stephen's problems on another day. That, that we leave for another debate. No, no, no. I, that's it. No, yes. but forgive me. That, this, this issue has a direct bearing on the issue you are discussing. Why right. are you running away from this problem? Okay. okay. It's because of this negative attitude. It's right. because I, of I this take, negative attitude. I take, that we, I, I take we your point. We we I, I, I will try and do a longer debate on this sometime next week. I want to bring you all both in face to face with students and reflect on this with students. They are the real sufferers. I'm going to try and do that next week, but I'm going to leave you today.